Sexual education in Ireland has long been confined to a box, put away in a corner in the hopes that the box will never see the light again. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have a show of hands if you feel awkward discussing sexual topics with your parents, guardians or teachers? My class and I, we want to rid Ireland of the awkwardness associated with sexual education. We feel as though people are being influenced and pressured by the media through television programmes like Geordie Shore and popular music by artists like Rihanna or Lady Gaga. We have been placed in a black box and no one will admit that this box needs to be opened for proper education. The first step we took in our project was to educate ourselves on sexual education. An organisation named AIDS Rest Galway taught us the ins and outs about sexual health. We now feel informed, mature and educated. We surveyed the students in our school. 85% of the students said that there is no sexual education in schools in Ireland. We made a notice board which we update every week. We inform students about teen pregnancy, the do's and don'ts regarding contraception and real life stories. Our notice board educates every student in our school in an open, honest and appropriate way. We held a parents night where AIDS West Galway educated the parents in all our schools in our area about how to teach their kids about sexual education. Our class were later filmed for a programme called Generation Sex, which aired on RTE2. We all spoke openly about sexual education in Ireland in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers. This is an example of how Ireland is trying to change as a country to become more open and honest about sexual health and education. We targeted the most important age demographic, which is teenagers, by going into a local nightclub and hanging up posters about sexual health. We made a stop motion video. The video goes through the day-to-day -day life of a person and it shows how influencing the media can be as we are all exposed to sexualized images everywhere. Finally, we made a lesson plan about how we believe sexual education should be taught in schools and we sent these to various ministers. We got a great amount of feedback and every minister believed our project was very needed in today's society. Minister Joe Carey said, I appreciate the fact that you provided lesson plans showing to me that you have advanced the area of sexual education. You now leave a potential lesson plan in place. In conclusion, after seeing our project, who here now feels that sexual education can be taught in a less awkward way? Yeah. From next year onwards, every junior serve pupil in our school will receive a one day workshop from AIDS West teaching them about sexual health and education. Our teaching plans will be taught once a year to every class in our school and this has been promised to us by the SPHE department. We've made a huge difference in Ireland regarding sexual education and ridding the country of the awkwardness associated with it. We have been placed in a black box, but now we are breaking free. free.